According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, anywhere from 75,000 to 125,000 babies under a year old end up in hospitals because of a common virus. Doug Johnson has an explanation of the risk RSV can pose to your child's health. Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, can lead to infection of the lungs and breathing passages. It's something most children will have had by their second birthday. It is a viral infection that any person can get at any age. And in older kids and also in adults, uh, RSV will just cause a bad cold. That's all there is. So, for a lot of people, RSV symptoms are so much like the common cold, people only need to take the same kind of self-care measures they'd use for a cold. But RSV is highly contagious and spreads when someone coughs or sneezes. The virus can also live on hands, clothes, and other surfaces, so you can catch it just by touching something contaminated, which increases the risk for the most vulnerable. When an RSV, when a young child who is less than two years of age get RSV infection, they can get uh, an illness called bronchiolitis. And what bronchiolitis is, is an infection of the lung, of the bronchioles, and that can cause wheezing, it can cause respiratory distress, and can become more serious, requiring even hospitalization. The virus can quickly spread through classrooms and daycare. Older children can carry it home where it spreads to younger siblings. RSV can make infants and kids with weakened immune systems very sick. So if a small child has RSV infection, depending on how severe it is, so it can be anywhere from a mild infection that you can just treat at home and uh, with just uh, appropriate hydration and just monitoring the child for any worsening of symptoms. Here's who the CDC puts at highest risk for severe illness caused by RSV. Premature babies children under two who have chronic lung disease or certain heart problems, adults who are 65 and older, and people who have weakened immune systems, such as from HIV infection, organ transplants, or specific medical treatments like chemotherapy. Respiratory illnesses caused by RSV, like bronchiolitis or pneumonia, can last a week, but may last several weeks. That's when young children can have problems. But sometimes when the infection uh, is more severe and the child is having a lot of respiratory distress, it's becoming hard for them to breathe, they require hospitalization with close monitoring and the hospital. Sometimes they will get some treatment, but there's no specific treatment for RSV infection. For the majority of children and adults, most cases of RSV end up being mild and don't require specific medical treatment. And because it's a virus, doctors don't use antibiotics because those are only effective against bacteria. But in some cases, children may get medication to help open their airways. If your child has a cold that isn't getting better, here are signs to look for to know if it's more serious and you should seek medical attention. High fever, severe cough, a high-pitched wheezing that's usually heard when breathing out, rapid or difficult breathing, which may make the child want to sit up rather than lie down, or cyanosis, that's when the skin may turn bluish due to lack of oxygen. Because RSV spreads so easily, encourage frequent hand washing, especially when having contact with someone with cold symptoms, and keep school-age kids with colds away from younger brothers and sisters until their symptoms are gone. So certain kids who are premature, have a history of lung disease or a history of heart disease, uh, start of their RSV season, which starts in this uh, city, I would say like in November, until the end of the RSV season, which would be late March. For kids at particularly high risk, there is something doctors can do in the form of a monthly vaccine during RSV season. A lot of them, we can put them on RSV immunoglobulin. This is an injection which is given monthly and will prevent them from, becoming, from developing an RSV infection, which can be life-threatening for them. For Smart Medicine, I'm Doug Johnson.